Hi, good afternoon. My name is Jim Biggins. I'm with the Alpha Media Broadcast Group here uh, in Saginaw. We have some kind of fun going on today. Um, obviously, the situation, um, things like school open houses and all that, you know, can't really do the way we have done in the past. Uh, but the crew at Peace Lutheran School, um, they said, that's all right. We're up to the task. We've, we've figured out a way to make this happen. Um, parents making a decision on where your kids go to school is so, so, so important. Uh, and so maybe you can't get into the school today but we can take you inside. And to do that, uh, Misty Gower, who is the, uh, the communications and marketing director at Peace Lutheran School joins us. We'll have some other members of the uh, school staff to, to talk to as well. Um, looks like I think we're gonna start with Kathy Pearson first. Now, Kathy is the early childhood uh, director at Peace Lutheran School, and uh, she gets to kind of oversee really one of the newest parts of the school. I, I'll, I'll just tell you up front, my son uh, graduated from Peace a few years ago, but it was all before you got to start all these new programs. And I'm sure, Kathy, you're very excited about it. I am so excited. Um, this is our welcome center into our new um, early childhood center, part of the blue wing here at school at Peace. And we're going to bring you right into our Weiss room, which is our multi-purpose room. Um, we offer both before and after school care in this room, and we also are able to use it as a large motor room for all of our preschool classes and our toddler classes, and even sometimes our small, um, small baby infant um, toddlers that can come down and play with balls and hula hoops and scooters. We also offer our summer camps here in the summer. This summer, we're going to be doing Around the World in 45 Days, all about continents and cultures in the world. That's offered for kindergarten through fifth graders. All of our summer camps are community oriented, so you do not need to be at Peace School to attend. Come That's and awesome. And I'm going to be showing you um, our blue hallway. We have three preschool classes. We have a multi-age program that's flexible. You get to choose your days. We have a morning class and an afternoon class. And then we also have five-day programs, our preschool threes in the morning, our preschool fours in the morning, and then we also have a stream class that I'd like to show you. Come this this, is, this has to be great for parents because you know that kind of flexibility in schedules there are no families that have identical schedules. So it sounds like you have a lot to offer in terms of making it work no matter what the family situation. Absolutely. We have child care that surrounds those classes from 6.30 to 6 every day. And it's billed by the hours so that you're only billed for what you're using. Come this way. So this is one of our preschool classrooms. This is where we offer stream which is a collaborative classroom for fours that need challenging and young fives who maybe need um, some extra growth. So we work off of the STEM portion of learning, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and we add an R for relationship with Jesus, and then we add an A for arts. And so these are some of the things that the kids are learning in our stream class. Uh, here's an example of a project where the kids get cups, sticks, and bears, and they have to figure out how to make a bridge so that the bears are off the table. That's just one of the many examples of um, collaboration that they might do together with a partner. They might do it on their own, or they might do it with a teacher. Kathy, what is what is one of your favorite parts about working with these kids? Is there an example or something that's going on that really sticks out in your mind? Sure, I get to work with these kids. I um, teach them how to use the letter sounds that they know, put them together to make words. I do that once a week, and I just love to see them figure out that the sounds that they know um, are going to help them read and read new words and read groups of words. So I do get some hands-on with them. We also do some writing in the class that brings those sounds together to make words. I that's, like to that's... be a hands-on director. Um, so I am in and out of each and every classroom, usually every day. I just love to hear that uh, you're already thinking about reading with kids that young because that's so key to their success down the road. Absolutely. It's a foundation for any of the other subjects that they might be 
learning in school. That's what's great about PEACE is we not only bring them in um, at age three and four, we have infants and toddlers too. So let's go look at the infant room. Okay. So our infant room is just right across the hall from our preschool room so that once you're here as a family, you get to um, see all of the different things that are going on and it becomes that child's school from six weeks on. It's great for teachers too, because we get to watch the kids grow. Yeah. <laughs> I think we may have hit a bit of a dead spot in the internet. We'll get that. Oh, there we go. Okay. And um, the ratio is a one to four. So one adult to four kids. One adult to four kids. That's a great ratio. Yeah. Absolutely. So we offer, um, this would be the play area. We have nice um, walls here that protect the kids that are non-mobile from the kids that are mobile and also protect the kids while they're sleeping so that children that are awake are not in amongst the cribs and the cots while the kids are sleeping. You know, it, it's interesting. My son uh, spent 10 years of his life there, but, but, but the section you're showing us now didn't exist then. Um, so, so this is really great because his, his comfort level with going to that building every single day was so high. You know, there was so much consistency and not all this change. And it, it really made, I think, for a very, you know, stress-free situation for the kids, which I'm sure, I, I'm not a teacher, but I, I would guess that makes teaching a ton easier. Absolutely. Well, what's so nice is that you can start when you're six weeks old and you can attend with your family until you're 14. So this truly does become this kid's school, the kid's family. And then if you have multiple children, you can just bring them all to one place. Have you ever uh, seen some kids on that first day look just so nervous, but then you watch a transformation? What's so nice is that we get to, as teachers, kind of come along beside them and encourage them, um, kind of give them side hugs, if you will. Um, I also encourage the parents to come in and do like a play date with the kids before they come to care or to school here so that they do feel comfortable once they're left alone. So we do a lot of different things to ease them into our childcare and preschool environment so that they feel comfortable. One of the one of the, the things that I appreciated most during my son's time at Peace was the, the faith foundation that he got because he has, I'm sure, a stronger faith foundation at his age now than, than I did. Um, how early does that start? That starts right at six weeks. Here in the infant room, we, we can be found um, doing finger plays with the kids, singing songs with the kids, all about Jesus. And of course, we pray before meals, before snacks. Um, so we just talked about how much Jesus loves them and cares for them. Just recently, there was a family that went through um, a death in their family. It was a grandparent. And the parent mentioned to me how nice it was that the preschool child um, talked about how much grandpa was in heaven and how she knew that he was with Jesus. And it just made uh, the mom feel so comforted that she was learning all about God's love here at Peace. That's so important. I'm sure there's going to be probably more questions than I can think of. So um, during the course of the week, are you the person to, that they should contact first if they have uh, youngsters or, or infants? Absolutely. They can call us here at school at 989-792-2581 and my extension is 251. I would love to talk with them and share with them all of the different programs that we have to meet their needs. We're here to meet everybody's need as much as we can. This has been such a great addition to the school. I mean, it was a great school before this. I, I had been so impressed with it the whole time. But um, when I found out that this addition was coming on and all that, it's like, that's that's perfect. It really, you know, gets the kids off on the right foot as early as possible. So there's no chance of, of you know, the poor kid slipping through a crack somewhere. You know, uh, it's really very awesome, Kathy. Anything you want to add? I think you hit it right on the head that we are here to love the kids at the youngest age level 
and just bring them into Jesus' family and our family here at Peace. Excellent. Kathy, thank you so much. You're Again, if you have welcome. questions, by all means, uh, during the week, and I'm, I'm sure it's kind of unusual for you to be there on a Sunday, I suppose, but but during the week, <laughs> um, Kathy Pearson is the Early Childhood Director and uh, would be very anxious to speak with you. Um, of course, you've probably seen the, across the bottom, uh, community enrollment will begin for February 22nd, and we'll be talking more about that uh, a little bit later when we get to the admissions director, but just want you to keep that date in mind because it's that's pretty important. You know, making your, your child's school choice uh, is a very, very important thing, and you want to make sure you get it right. All right. Uh, Misty Gower is working her way uh, down the hallway now. Hi, Jim. Is our next stop uh, in the principal's office? I've, I've been there once or twice. <laughs> well, it's not in the principal's office, but I am going to show you our principal. This is Keith Trent, and here at Peace, we call him the director of our school ministries. And I also want to introduce Elena Dowd, and she is our admissions director. And okay. I believe Keith is the one who's going to show us around our gymnasium. Um, I did want to quickly peek in our media center. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is um, where we have our technology classes. You can see that we're all set up with our laptops and our headphones. And um, at different times, we have broadcasting classes. So we kind of use that corner in that you see there um, as a green room. We've got a green screen so that the kids can um, do their own news broadcasts, and those are, instead of um, announcements, they get their own news broadcast in the morning from their fellow peers. On we didn't this even side, have that in my high school, let alone I my know. grade school. What, that's not fair. <laughs> I know. It's wonderful. As a fir former journalist myself, I am stoked about those kind of opportunities. Here, this beautiful space you see is kind of our more traditional library area, and all the books that you see. So you kind of have your traditional library area with uh, the future, the past and the future all right here in one room. That is, that's a beautiful upgrade. Uh, as my son graduated uh, from Peace in 2015 and there were computers, but not nearly as much, but uh, I think everybody recognizes how key that is to education. Absolutely. Uh, we also have, um, once, your student gets into sixth grade here, we have a what we call our one-to-one -one laptop program. So it's not just here on the desks that you get to experience technology. They take them home so they can do their projects, they can do their homework, and uh, we just try and equip them for the next step. And as we know, that next step today involves a lot of technology. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right, we have our uh, director of school ministry, Keith Trent. How are you this afternoon, Keith? I'm doing good, how are you, Jim? I'm just going to, for anybody who happens to be watching this and saying, man, I'll bet they polished that floor just for this event. I can vouch for the fact that no, it looked like that every day, every time I was in there. And I sat at the floor <laughs> table and, uh, and, and yeah, so it's, that's a beautiful, beautiful gym. Yeah. And the lack of sports this year has actually kept it really nice. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we do, um, we do also, I was going to piggyback on what Misty said. We also, also have three uh, Chrome carts that travel to our classrooms as well. So um, technology wise, we, we feel that we're pretty um, uh, state of the art. Um, there's always things to improve on and we always look for those things. Um, we also have a full-time technology um, um, coordinator on staff as well that helps us through all those types of things too. But um, as you can tell also our gym is, is one of the ones that um, is our biggest features here at Peace. And um, we have a lot of programs that we offer. We offer a kindergarten through eighth grade um, PE schedule, which they mm -hmm. are offered three times a week for PE. And then also we have sports programs. In the fall, we offer um, volleyball for the girls, soccer for the boys, cross country as a co-ed. And then in the wintertime, we offer uh, basketball and pom-poms. And as you can see on our walls, we also have um, a lot of our basketball teams have gone to our state and national tournaments. Um, and we also have a um, our, one of our boys in 2017 won the state tournament. And our girls in 2018 were fifth in the national tournament. So we're very excited to have those types of things offered here at Peace. And then also in the spring, we offer track for our fourth through eighth graders. So. Um, also in here, we do our chapels. Um, we do weekly chapels, not with COVID, of course, this year, 
but uh, it's, um, we have our student body come in. They sit in their, um, their chapel families, and then we have chapel once a week. I've been in that room for everything from uh, spelling competitions to sports to band performances. Uh, I believe I saw a player or two in there as well over the years. Yeah, yeah, we do a lot of that now over at the church. Um, because mm -hmm. we have a great sound system and a stage over there um, for our plays, but we also do our fine arts program in uh, the spring in the gym here. So, yeah, we still do that too. You know, nowadays too, with, uh, you know, a lot of kids. Uh, very into gaming and, and things like that and getting them out and just running around a little bit and, and getting that physical exercise. Um, you know, as parents, it's nice to know someone else is pushing the kids to, to get up and do that too. And, and having that as an integral part of what you do at, at Peace Lutheran, I think it's yeah. real important. Yep. It is. And we, we try to look at the student as a whole and not just academics. Um, so we do offer quite a bit of different types of um, extracurriculars between drama, music, sports, those kind of things. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, can I backtrack for a second? There was one thing uh, you mentioned earlier about um, uh, carts, um, Chrome carts. Yes. I don't know that every parent would know what that would, would be. Can you explain um, that? They are uh, laptops. Um, they're not as functional as a laptop, but we are a Google school. So we have Google Docs, um, spreadsheets, those kind of things. Um, and they, the students are able to get on the internet and do research and things like that. So it's a cart full of kind of small laptops. Okay. They don't hold the memory and things like that as a laptop would. But it guarantees that the kids are going to have some hands-on technology experience and probably be able to come home and show mom and dad what they can't figure out on their own. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty important. All right. Where are we going now? This is our music room. Um, we have a very large music room, as you can tell, um, designed specifically for choir and band. Um, we offer our music for kindergarten through fifth grade. They do a general music uh, class, music ed. And then we also have choir. And the choir is broken up into a couple of different um, uh, grade levels. We have a kindergarten choir. We have a uh, first and second grade choir. And then three to five have a choir, and then six to eight have a choir. This year, uh, each class is doing choir separately because of the COVID restrictions that we have. But uh, normally, we uh, have them in those kind of cohorts uh, to be able to um, uh, have choir as well. And then um, band starts in fifth grade. We have a beginner's band, and we actually have a partnership with Valley Lutheran High School. Their mm -hmm. band director comes over and does our band for us. And then our advanced band is for sixth or eighth graders. Um, Excellent. We do a lot of our practicing in here for our programs um, with our fine arts program. We have a, a Great Lakes Bay Region Music Fest that we do um, where our students can go and participate. And that's where they rank them, I think, one and zeros and all those other fun things. I'm not into that music stuff but um <laughs> and we have a lot of our choirs i believe rank one which i think is the best rating that you can get mm -hmm. um, along with our band students as well um so we do quite a bit we have a christmas program that our all of our students participate in and then also um um uh the, the band concerts and the choir concerts very good all right, so uh, I guess most of us probably understand, you know, the role of, of principal in, in your position, but as director of school ministry, um, obviously that suggests the faith component is, is very much your responsibility. What kind of things um, are you handling in, in that regard for the students? Um, I just uh, look out for their spiritual matters and their um, their social well-being and their overall mental well-being. Um, you know, so if a student is struggling with different things in life, something at home, you know, a lot of our families, um, we're not exempt from the world. You know, we do have uh, families that are, are split or divorced or having struggles, things like that. So I monitor and care for that. And then I also work with our school pastor and he actually helps to counsel for those students that may have some issues and struggles that are going on. So that's part of that director of school ministries part um, that I take care of. Yeah. That's Jim, one, one thing I'd love to mention is sure. that um, we actually have, our school pastor has an office here on campus. He's here five days a week. Excellent. And that's, that's uh, pretty unique from what I understand. And so, uh, yes, K uh, Keith is 
in charge of that spiritual aspect, but we certainly have our pastor here and available um, for not only our students, but our staff and our families who come in. So it's a wonderful uh, benefit. Yeah. You know, it's speaking a lot about having counseling for our students, so yeah. yeah. Having having those, you know, I think a lot of people don't often associate kind of the principal's role as, as being that involved in, in people's lives. And this is one of the unique uh, aspects of Peace Lutheran that my wife and I were very, very pleased with when we decided to send our son there. Um, and, and the other thing, too, that, that kind of came from the peace atmosphere, and I'm sure it's your job right at the top to set the tone for everybody, is that the parent involvement was outstanding. By the time my son had been there for a period of time, I think I knew every parent of every kid in his class. And the parent level of involvement in the school, I thought, was outstanding. Yeah, and that's one thing that we do um, value and appreciate for our families is they are very involved. Um and uh, just the, the aspect that they're partners with us. We're not just doing this on our own. They're not just doing the um, education and not just the education, but their spiritual growth and development as well. Um, it's really a team effort, you know, from home and here. So that's what's really nice that we can partner with our families to, to help our children grow like that. Excellent. Where are we now? I'm not sure I recognize the room. <laughs> we are in our brand new science lab. It's a couple years old. This is where um, was part of our um, our expansion with the early childhood. We were able to um, put on a art and a, a science studio. So this is um, a lot of our middle school, fifth through eighth grade have uh, science in here. It is a working lab. Um, and some of just to give you kind of example of what our students are working on, they have a, a little taste of life physical and earth science throughout the year. And our sixth graders currently, they're doing electricity and uh, magnetism. So they're making circuits and viewing magnetic fields and how to build electric magnets. I don't know if that's good to take home or not, but we'll see. <laughs> um, our seventh graders, they're looking into matter and how they study atom elements. And uh, they're looking at the periodic table and chemical reactions. So right now the students are creating their own periodic tables and on a topic subject of their own interest. So they're actually applying these things to actually everyday life that they're going through too. And then you know, see, I, I, it uh, almost sounds like I'm... We have some cells and things like that. So our eighth graders are actually looking at the body and the different um, uh, systems of the body. And as you can tell, they're looking at the different parts of the cells when they're working on, on the, um, things this uh, this time of year. So, and something really cool is Miss Cobalt has them making these cells, but they had to be edible. Mm, yes. So that's why you see this cell and a delicious Oreo on top. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, I thought that was really cool whenever I came in here and hopefully Mr. Trent won't get hungry and take part of the science project. Yeah, so. <laughs> it, it might be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> you know, just in, in describing what the students were, uh, were, were studying too, the, the feeling that I get from that is that there's no question that when it's time for high school, that these kids are going to be absolutely prepared. Yeah. Um, a lot of the feedback we get from not only Valley, which is our feeder program for our Lutheran school kids, but they, we do have several that will go on to the public schools. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the value that we get back from the parents and things is that they're very well prepared for, for ninth grade and on. So That's great. That's great. Excellent. All right. Where are, we, uh, where are we heading next year? My favorite room, Jim. <laughs> this is the art studio. Ah, okay. And this again was added when we did the early childhood expansion. So um, we were missing that before. We were missing an art, um, a designated art area and a designated science area. So we're very, very thankful that our congregation came through and we were able to add these two classrooms on. Um, some of our um, features for our art is that right now they're working on uh, their drawing skills, 3D, 3D designs. Uh, contour and gesture drawing techniques, charcoal drawings, origami, watercolor techniques, and perspectives, um, which is really nice because we're able to offer that um, for all of our students, kindergarten through eighth grade. 
And, you know, things like art and music and, and physical education, you know, don't aren't the things that help you pass, you know, maybe a test down the road, but they're still such critical parts of, of being well-rounded. Yes. Um, so so having the emphasis to, to make sure that all those things are included at, at a time when I, I think it's challenging for some schools to include that things, those types of things nowadays. Yeah, it is. Um, and I know a lot of um, colleagues of mine around the around um, the states that I've um, you know acquired some friendships with are telling me that they're actually cutting those programs from right. from wherever they're at. Yeah. So it's very, very um, hard sometimes to put them in but we're we're very thankful that we've got partnerships with the um, shared time program to offer those with our teachers um, and able to offer it for our kids so it's it's very important to me uh, to be able to offer uh, all of those because like you said before it's not just the ABCs or the one two threes it's how do we allow our students to be um, ready for society and be well-rounded individuals that can make a difference in in the world so Excellent. Excellent. Jim, do you mind if I show you something real quick here on the wall? No, no. Um, help me out here. I'm having. Yeah. So if you notice up here, we have some really cool paper mache um, oh, okay. giraffe heads. And uh, this, these are left over uh, a couple of years ago. They started having a Great Lakes Bay region uh, production where a lot of the smaller Lutheran schools came together sent actors and worked for a few months to present uh, a musical. And a few years ago, we did um, Lion King Jr. And so wow. not only was it a collaboration from some of our students in the drama program collaborating with these other schools, but we had just opened our beautiful art studio and our students came together to create the props that you see here and some of the set design. And these are left over from that. And every time I see it, I just smile because we were able to uh, collaborate and and do this uh, beautiful production with other schools in our region, and not only just actors and drama, but also with our arts. So it's that's one great. of my yeah, one of my favorite things. Here that's we great. also have a kiln, our very own kiln. You'll see pottery wheels, which I I love anything arts. So I would have killed for this as a as a kid in school. Um, and so we, we know what a huge blessing this is. It's certainly uh, not common, but uh, one of the things we're able to offer here in our art program. That's excellent. Yeah. I mean, there's a hands-on side to art that other types of classes, you know, don't have. It's nice to put the pencil down and, and pick up something else. Yep. And use your hands a little bit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think uh, Alina hasn't gotten to talk yet, and I know that she would just feel so left out. Oh, Alina is <laughs> Alina is our admissions director. We are blessed to have someone who is able to talk with all of our prospective families uh, so that they mm -hmm. have one person they can reach out to with anything regarding coming to peace, and uh, that is our Alina. So if you want to talk a little bit about, we've got some upcoming registration dates. Yep, so we are going to a new system, so we should have our link available February 5th. Um, looking, it, I'm super excited about this next school year. Um, I already have people asking me about it. So we're our kindergarten, um, they're starting to apply on the 5th as well. Um, we'll have kindergarten testing March 9th and 10th. Um, then we're going to have a virtual kindergarten roundup. Um, so. It's really great that we're able to think outside the box and do something like the tour today where um, we still can tell people about our wonderful school. Um, I'm very blessed to have both my children um, go through this school and it's so much fun for me to be able to meet our families and tell you about it. So please contact me, um, my email's on our website and I would love to after school hours show you our beautiful school and make it work for your family. That was my next question. Is there an opportunity for adults to come through? And I'm glad that there is because under the circumstances, I'm sure it's challenging, but I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Let me just ask you one thing though. Um, what is, I mean, for you personally, not so much professionally, but personally, what is, what is the thing that makes coming to peace every day uh, special for you? It is a family. Um, I, definitely everyone I work with, um, we're a family. We love each other. We work well together 
and um, and we wear a lot of hats. We <laughs> we take over where someone is left off, and we just there are no lines of whose job is what. Um, we just work really really well together. And my favorite part about coming to work every day is seeing the kids. I love our kids. Um, I love the kindergartners who pull their mask down and show me the tooth that's missing. <laughs> and, you know, he's speaking Spanish to me in the hall. And it's just, it's a great to see our kids. And um, we have awesome families and a great community. And, and I love it. Uh, you hit on a very important word there, community. I mean, people think about that, I think more so maybe at high school level on up. Um, but it, it really is very important from day one in school, whether it's daycare, whether it's kindergarten or preschool. Um, and, and I felt that sense of community when my son was there. And, uh, and I, you know, would would never hesitate to recommend Pete Lutheran to any, anybody's, any parent of, of a child who's looking for a special school. Absolutely. So. Thank All you. right. No, well, thank you, Alina. We appreciate that very much. And uh, they can contact you at the, the school office number, I'm sure. Yep, absolutely. Perfect. Seven two zero three. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, um, Misty. Is there anything we missed before we take off here? No, I think we uh, we showed that uh, we we have something for everyone here from the time your child is six weeks on up through eighth grade. Um, one of the best benefits that I think a lot of parents get here at Peace is that you can do one drop off. You don't have to take yeah. your elementary school student to one campus and and your um, junior high kid to another, uh, you know, even your baby. We can, we have a place for all of it. And uh, like Elena said, we are, you know, happy to, uh, happy to show you around after hours. Uh, we did what we had to do today, but certainly if there's a way that we can show you more, help you learn more about peace. We are here. We are ready to talk with you. It is an education and it is a faith foundation and it is a community. So all those things are wrapped up in one. Um, and and I, I thank you all. Um, Misty, Kathy, uh, Keith, Alina. Um, I hope you get some phone calls this week with some more questions. I didn't think to ask you, but uh, but let's get ready for another outstanding school year. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jim. It's been a you pleasure. Bet. Thanks, everybody, who took a, a few minutes to, to watch us and learn a little bit more about Peace Lutheran School. Um, please ask with more questions. Um, this is a, a, a wonderful place to send your children, and, uh, and you will not regret it. But please ask questions. Learn more. Mm -hmm. I, I encourage you. And thank you, everybody, and have a great, right. great afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.